All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Charlton. I'm one of the LA Drupal managers. I'm also an author, uh, two-time author, one with lynda.com, and my first book in 2007 was covering Drupal 5 with Flex Rich app Internet Applications. I am a, a, big, uh, a big fan of a theme called Zen. How many uh, raise of hands? How many have actually used or heard of Zen? Excellent. Good. That's the number of people I was hoping to see here. I uh, I'm actually known for some of the software that I write uh, for Drupal developers. In fact, uh, one of my popular uh, apps is called Drupal Theme Starter. And it's actually a desktop app for uh, Drupal designers or Drupal theme builders. Uh, basically, this is a desktop application. It's free. It's a GUI to generate your theme.info files. That is the theme manifest file that has all the information of what CSS files uh, ship with your theme, what the theme name is, stuff like that. So I have this GUI, uh, and some time ago, I actually uh, was trying to update it for Zen, where you could actually say, hey, I want to make a Zen sub-theme, because the Zen theme itself is not a theme that you enable and run on your site. It's plain white vanilla. Zen is made to be a base theme or a parent theme for any themes you want to derive from it. So it gives you a bunch of the styles and CSS files already prepared, because the biggest question I get is, how do I know what CSS styles there are for Drupal? How do I know, you know, all those pieces? Well, you know, the true answer is you just look in Drupal's code and you'll find it. Sorry, we're not all, we're not all treasure hunters here. Uh, so the Zen project did something really good, which was compile a lot of those styles already for you to basically just edit and hack on your own in a sub-theme. When you make a change to a sub-theme, it does not affect the parent theme. So if Zen were ever to receive updates or enhancements, you could literally replace that Zen parent theme and your sub-themes would not really be affected, ne affected negatively. So that's actually one of the benefits of sub-theming in Drupal. Uh, so people should learn how to sub-theme anyway. Uh, it's really good. But I couldn't come up with an update for my uh, desktop application just yet. What I found though, uh, which will help a lot of people, is a project called Xenophile. And what I have here is I have a standard Drupal site uh, you guys can see it's Drupal 6, so here are the folders. And I've downloaded the Zen theme and placed it in my Sites All Themes folder. And then I've downloaded the Xenophile module. Okay, this is not a theme, it's a module. So I've downloaded the module, Xenophile, and the theme Zen. And if I actually, I have a Drupal site here, so if I actually went to my themes folder right here, we can see that I have all the standard Drupal 6 themes, including the Zen theme. Uh, you don't do anything with this right now. But what you do need to do is make sure that the Xenophile module is enabled because we'll get a interface for it. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, to enable the Xenophile module, turn it on, click Save Configuration, and now my Drupal site has the Xenophile module enabled. I'll actually go back to Administer, and then I'll look for, where is, oh, sorry. I'll go back to my Themes, folder, uh, themes Administration screen, and we see a new tab up here, the Create Zen Subtheme tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this is actually what Xenophile added uh, into my Drupal. And what I could do here is, and I'm going to show you guys that I don't have any magic up my sleeves, but this is my default folder, and my files folder is empty. Okay? I don't know what I said, but thanks. Uh, so let's, uh, let's call this new theme. It's going to generate all my files. So I'll call it the Santa Monica Public Library theme. Oh. Messed up. Sorry, that was the system theme. So SMPL will be uh, the machine name for my theme. Put in a human name. So Santa Monica Public Library. And I'll put this Xenophiles theme uh, for the LA Drupal Meetup. Okay. And then it's actually asking me where I want to place these files in. Do you want it in the site's all folder or the default folder? Well, I'm going to say the all folder. And I actually won't be using any of the more options but I'll open this up for you. So if I had, for some strange reason, multiple versions of Zen uh, in different areas, uh, it would actually pick it up and ask me, which one do you want to use? So it's already picking up the one in my Sites All Themes folder. And if I wanted a fixed or liquid layout, I could choose that. And then a couple other little options. I won't go over those here. But now I'll click Submit. And this is actually pretty common. So uh, I got a complaint that it could not write to my Sites All Themes folder. So let me go actually fix that. So this is not something you want to do on your production server, which is make your themes folder writable. But for my local 
uh, site and makes sense. So I click submit and now we see that a new sub theme was created successfully in my sites all themes folder. Let's go look at that. So now we see that we actually have a new folder here, SMPL. And if I go inside, it's literally all the files that I'll need for my sub theme. So it's actually created the .info file. It's done, uh, it made all the, uh, all the find and replace changes in the multiple files that it needs to make for a Zen sub theme. And if I now go back to my themes administration screen, we should even see that my Santa Monica public library theme is ready to go. You guys see that? And then uh, technically I could click go and it's exactly what I expected, a plain white Zen theme for me to go in, edit in Dreamweaver, Eclipse, whatever I want, and start hacking at the CSS and coming up with a brand new theme. So this is a process that took me, I think in my best, about five, six minutes to do by hand. Uh, and it basically took about that long for me to explain and demo this uh, module called Xenofile for you guys today. That's a bit. Uh, I'll take questions if there are any. If not, we'll move on to the next presentation. Thank you.